Hi everybody, welcome to my style guide. I wanted to take a few to show you about the amazingness of the maxi skirt in the winter time. So I know a lot of you may feel that the maxi skirt's a summer only skirt. You throw it on with a tank top or a t-shirt, maybe some sandals and you're good to go. However, you throw on some layers, some leggings underneath, maybe a really cozy scarf and a jacket and you have an awesome layering piece for the winter time. Maxi skirt even looks amazing with boots and I dare say maybe even better in the winter than the summer. So I'm gonna be showing you a couple of cute outfits that you can wear with your maxi skirt all winter long and still be cozy, comfy, warm and look super fierce and styling the entire time. So hang tight, I'll be back with a brand new outfit for you. Hey, so here we have our favorite maxi skirt with a super cute Lene. So I grabbed a slinky maxi. I actually prefer the slinky maxi in the winter time over a pair of leggings. I just think that it lies really well. So if you are a fan of the Slinky Maxi, the winter time is your time for this. And so then I grabbed uh, a Lene and just decided to give it a little knot up top to give it a little bit of shape, kind of enhance my curves a little bit and uh, bring it all in in the waist. But you don't have to do it that way. I just thought it looked kind of cute. Maybe throw on a little necklace or a scarf, you're good. Or you can take it down, wear it down. Very cute that way too, right? So it still gives you that really awesome hourglass shape with this awesome Lene top. And then I thought maybe since we have, and these pieces are all for sale by the way, since we have the blue and the reds and very cute, I absolutely love wearing a maxi skirt, a long sleeve shirt, and a flannel shirt around the waist. Here, let me show you what that's gonna look like. It makes the whole outfit casual all of a sudden, right? So you take kind of a dressy outfit, you throw a little flannel around the waist, maybe a cute choker, some awesome combat boots, and you've got a really rockin' outfit. I'm probably gonna give this a little blouse, make that a little tighter, and isn't that super cute, right? Ready to go. I would probably throw on something to balance out the open neckline, or you can maybe throw on my line backwards. But I absolutely love, love this look for winter time. All right, what do you think so far? Hit me a like if you like what's going on. I'll be right back with another outfit for you. Hang tight. Hey, so next up we're gonna talk about how to wear an Irma, our favorite tunic with a maxi skirt. So as you may tell, I've got the Irma down all the way and the maxi skirt's long. So I've got long and long. And it's not exactly the most flattering shape, I'm just kind of a straight line right now, right? So we wanna create a little bit of shape in our bodies. So what I'm gonna do, there's a couple different things that you can do with the Irma to, uh, to really give your body some shape and make this awesome silhouette and the extra beautiful length that you have with this top. Actually, I mean, not that bad. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you how to create some shape. I like the long length in the back. I actually just looked at it from the back for the first time. All right. So what I love, love to do, and you guys have heard me talk about this multiple times, is you a little dirty tuck, right? And so that's going to just bring it up a little bit, create a nice line at your waistline. You still have that nice cute length down here in the back, so it's kind of slouchy still. I would wear this with like a nice long necklace, a pair of boots, maybe even a pair of high heel booties would be really cute. And since I've got a bit of an oversized Irma here, I might roll the sleeves up just a little bit, create another little shape here, right? So that's a really cute outfit. Love that. So you can take that same shirt, the same pairing, and if you can see up close this pattern mix that I have going on, we've got the same colors in the top as in the skirt. It brings out the red and the flowers. Very, very cute. So instead of that, maybe I'll go back to what we did before with the Lene and do a little, do this live here. We're going to do a little knot up top. We'll throw a little knot here in the front of our Irma. And that's going to create the same look, but then bring it up a little bit tighter in the back. There we go. Makes it a little bit slouchier since you've got all this extra fabric up here, which I really like the way that looks. But then it brings it in your waist really nicely and then it brings it up in the back a little bit more so you don't have as much fabric hanging down in the back, right? Maybe take the arms down on this one since we've got it nice and cropped in the front. It's all about the proportions, right? So that's another great way to wear Irma. And then one more thing too, belt it. You've got this beautiful long tunic top, and I've got one more thing I'm gonna show you this trick with too. Here, let me grab my belt. You have this gorgeous long tunic top, 
You grab your favorite belt that matches what you've got going on. We're gonna go up a notch here a little bit here. We're gonna kind of even it out a little bit and then we're gonna blouse it. And I love, love, love this look. So, so cute. It's hard doing this in a video instead of in the mirror, but you're gonna get the idea of what I'm working with here. So then, how cute is that, right? Got it all a little bit twisted here, but you get the general idea. So you've got the nice length that's gonna cover your belly and your butt. If you need a little extra coverage, I totally hear you. I'm wearing Spanx right now, you guys. I'm not gonna go live on a video without wearing Spanx. But you know, sometimes I wanna cover up my lumps and bumps. Totally cool. You got that really gorgeous long line Irma length, throw in a belt, but then it still creates a waistline. Perfect, and this trick is amazing to do both with the Linnae and with the Carly, and I'm gonna try that on for you here next. All right, be right back. Hey guys, so I tried on that same trick with our belt over top of our maxi skirt, but this time with a Carly. Isn't this the cutest look? Right, so Carly can actually be worn as a tunic as long as you've got a belt and you can blouse it out a little bit. And see, it creates this really cute kind of peplum. It's kind of popping my booty out a little bit, so maybe, maybe more for a uh, inverted triangle shape. Not very much hourglass, but nonetheless, rock it, rock what makes you feel good. But it creates this really cute peplum. If you can kind of see what I've got going on here, not wearing any shoes for make uh, try ons a little easier. But it makes a really cute peplum silhouette with the Carly. You could even do this again with a knotted flannel around your waist or throw maybe even a uh, like a, a, a flannel like a long sleeve collared shirt underneath this would be such a cute look so what do you think yeah all right I'll be right back with another outfit guys all right everybody knows how to pair a randy top with a maxi skirt it is such a no-brainer an awesome outfit combination but have you ever thought about upsizing your randy so that's what I'm showing you here today. I've got my maxi skirt on that I've been wearing the whole video, and then I went up about three sizes, maybe two sizes from my regular size Randy, which gave me a ton of extra fabric to be able to cinch it in the waist, bring it in, and then I rolled up the sleeves a whole bunch, and then it creates this kind of boyfriend top that kind of thing, right? Like you're wearing, you know, you stole it from your husband's closet, and you've got this kind of cool, Feminine with the skirt and masculine with this awesome Randy top. I might even go up like one more roll Just to really kind of tuck it up and mess with the propor proportions a little bit. So I've got my arms But then it's all nice and rolled up and tucked in. What do you think? Isn't this the cutest look? I absolutely love upsizing Randy. Randy upsize is by far my favorite even probably more so than my regular size so I really like the way it creates this nice hourglass shape when you've got it all knotted and tucked in here, but then also some nice blousey so it's not all tight, 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 right? Because you want to do a little bit of a balance. You don't want tight, tight. You want it tight, loose. You know what I mean. What do you think? Isn't this such a cute outfit? I love it. So hang tight. I've got a couple of ideas for how you can style pieces outside of your LuLaRoe wardrobe with a maxi skirt because she is the most versatile skirt in the history of the world. I'll be right back. All right, these next few looks are a couple of higher fashion, street style type uh, looks that you can wear with a maxi skirt, with Lula Rose maxi skirt. So she's not just all about super comfortable day-to-day -day wear, which I absolutely love, but we can also take it up a notch with a couple of high fashion looks. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the sizing. I went down a size on my maxi skirt for these looks. I personally prefer to be a little bit tighter in my hips and my, and my booty, uh, just because it creates more of a mermaid shape and that's just a matter of preference for me. Um, but you can totally accomplish all of these looks even by going up a size and having a nice big flowy I think that's a really cute way to proportion your looks if you have any questions on sizing and How to tailor the sizing of a maxi skirt to fit your body and your shape your personal shape hit me up I'll totally help you out, but this first look I thought was super cute. So my favorite favorite piece of clothing is um, Is an Oxford shirt a white button-down super crisp shirt. I happen to steal this one from my husband I just think this is super cute. You throw one tail in, one tail out, super slouchy. It looks like you stole your husband's clothes, which I literally just did over top of this awesome maxi. I would wear it with a really chunky pair of black boots, 
some really dark, dramatic makeup, and maybe a really bold pair of sunglasses. So I have a couple of pictures from these looks that I can share with you to, uh, to show you where I got my inspiration. But at all times, if you're ever looking for inspiration, go onto Google, Google Images, type in what you're looking for, and then type in street style, and you can kind of see how people are wearing it on the street um, to get some fashion inspiration. That's where I always go. So I really love this look. I have a couple more ideas with our white button down. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Hey guys, this next look is the quintessential Carolina Herrera look. So she always talks about her white starchy Oxford shirt. She's always pairing it with ball gowns. This is the LuLaRoe equivalent. Isn't it amazing how quickly and easily you can dress up a LuLaRoe maxi skirt? Absolutely love this. You take a super starchy skirt, tuck it in, grab an undersized maxi so you've got a little bit of more of a fitted silhouette and maybe a big sparkly necklace or hang tight. I might possibly, instead of the sparkly necklace, you don't, definitely don't want to do both, throw on a cute contrasting leopard belt instead too. Isn't that adorable? Let me give you a little bit of a close up of how that's all gonna look and I would probably pull this up just a little bit so we got a little bit more of the skirt showing. There we go. So I definitely wouldn't do both, that's a little too much, but one or the other, if you can kind of see up close what we've got going on there, get that lined up with our seam. Isn't that adorable, right? Minus the necklace. Love, love this look. This is one of my all time favorites. Never goes out of style. I'm not joking, I've been following fashion my entire life. This outfit never goes out of style, always in style. So, very, very cute. And another thing you could do instead too, if you didn't want to tuck, the beautiful thing about stealing your husband's shirt, and Chris might have a hard time getting this back for me. Let's see if I can do this without flashing you guys here, hang on. <laughs> You can tie it around the waist too. And by the way, this look looks perfect with a Madison skirt, with a Cassie skirt, all of the skirts in LuLaRoe's lineup, a Lola, a Jill, everything pairs with this look. So not only tucked in like I showed you before, but all of our skirts go really, really well. With a white button down, and then you give it a little knot. And now you're a little bit more casual, right? But it's still, very cute, very on trend, absolutely adorable. I, one of my favorite outfits of all time. I don't know if you can tell by how my face is lighting up and how much I love this outfit, but very, very cute. So I have one more, a little bit more chic casual look for you, a little bit more streetwear, and then we're all set. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so if you happen to be the lucky owner of a white LuLaRoe Linnea, I highly recommend you trying this with any color, any style, any pattern of maxi skirt. I, however, have not been able to find one of my size yet, and you can tell the LuLaRoe Linnea is not gonna show my bra through. This one's from H&M. Nonetheless, we're just gonna make do with what I have. I apologize, but this is perfect idea for a Linnea, especially if you flip it around backwards so you create a nice boat neck. But you take a white long sleeve shirt and then you're gonna tie it up really high, so much higher than you would think. I know we talk about wearing our Madisons up here well above your natural waist and that's what we're gonna do here. Take it way up to the smallest part of your body, take that awesome extended waistband of your, Madis or of your maxi skirt all the way up and that's gonna create this nice long line in your hips and make your shape just look absolutely adorable. I can tell you right now I am not this tiny, I am not this cute. It is the shirt and the skirt doing all the work for me. Super, super cute. I absolutely love the way this looks. This is a little bit more modern. You throw on a really bold necklace. And one second here. Woo, threw a hanger on the floor there. And then what you do, and you could even tuck this in and do this instead of the knot, but you throw on your super masculine, super cool, edgy, leather jacket with this look and for this I would probably just tuck it in instead of do the knot. I'll give you a little kind of hint as to what that's going to look like. Let's see if I can see so you can see I'm not really as tiny as I look here. There we go. Right? Isn't this adorable? So you've got your sparkly necklace, your crisp white linen, and an awesome LuLaRoe maxi skirt. 
maybe a pair of awesome boots or a pair of leather mules would be really cute with this look if you've got a really cute pair of shoes like that. Absolutely. And I have one more idea for you guys I'm going to show you and I'll be right back. Another one of my all-time favorite total Betsy looks. You can actually accomplish it. It's super easy. All right. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, cuties, I have another amazing look for you. We're gonna talk a little bit about long jackets and how great long jackets can be with a long maxi skirt. So we're gonna create proportions with our jacket. This is a long, just solid green jacket. I got it at H&M a few years ago. Super easy to find out there, but then you throw on, it's a really boxy, straight jacket, which I love, but not when I'm wearing a long skirt, so I wanna create a waistline again. So I just threw on my favorite belt with it with my maxi skirt, it still leaves my little pockets out here fully buttoned up, and it's such a cute look. Absolutely love the way this kind of hides my hips, gives me a little bit of shape, and then I get to show off my awesome belt and my masculine jacket. Absolutely love the way this one looks. What do you guys think? So I've got another thing, and I swear it's the last one this time, with my long black uh, jacket that I think everybody needs in their wardrobe. We'll chat about that here. I'll be right back. All right, friends, for our last look of the evening, I bring you undeniable proof that maxi skirt is absolutely perfect in the winter time. I give you maxi leggings underneath, super cozy boots, and your most comfy, fuzzy, cozy sweater. Throw this all on together and you are absolutely gonna be super comfy cozy for the rest of the winter and still look super fierce while you're at it. This look, I love the boxy with the slightly tighter silhouette of our maxi skirt. This look even looks really awesome with a scarf. Let me show you what we got going on here. I mean, I'll just throw on like my favorite comfy scarf. Doesn't even matter. Maybe just leave it down like that, right? Absolutely adorable. Or maybe I'll throw on, we talked about it. Here it is, my new favorite piece for the winter, a long black jacket on over top of it. Get a nice big boxy one so you've got extra room for layering with your awesome comfy sweater. How cute is this outfit? Seriously, you guys, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to hit the road, I'm good to go. And you've got awesome textures happening here with your scarf, this, awesome. Absolutely love, love, love. I'm telling you what, people talk about fall, I talk about winter as my favorite dressing season. Bring me all of the black, all of the black tights, all of the long skirts and super chunky sweaters and I'm good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed our video today, maybe learned a little something, and maybe try out something new with your favorite skirt. And I will see you all soon. Thanks again. Bye.